I'm a teacher in New York City and I make $69,000 a year. I have about $23,000 in savings, $21,000 in a retirement fund, and $2,000 in a savings account. So I've been working for a teacher for four years now and every year they put a little bit in my retirement fund. So it essentially took me four years to work up to $21,000. After taxes, my take home is $3,534 a month. I spend $640 on rent, $270 on utilities, $60 on monthly subscriptions, $300 towards savings. That leaves a little over $2,000 to spend. Right now I only pay $640 in rent. Uh, I really lucked out. I had a family friend who knew another friend who owns a house and she has four rooms in that house and she rents them out for very little. She rents it out to women who are trying to build something with their lives. She says, you know what, you're only gonna be here for a couple years, I'm gonna help you out. I was really blessed in that situation. I'm an impulse buyer, I classify myself as that, but just recently I decided that I had to get more serious with my savings. I'm just trying to learn how to stick to a budget and kind of stay there. It's hard, New York City has a lot of fun things to do and they all cost money. <laughs> Here's my last statement. I try to spend more on experiences than like actual things. JetBlue, $161. American Airlines, $118. I finally bought my ticket to Ohio to see my best friend who I haven't seen in so long. I was very excited that day and I just said, you know what, I'm gonna do it two days after payday. That was one of my most expensive purchases, but it was worth it. I really missed her. So I hopped on a plane and I went to see her. ATM transaction, $80. That must have been poker. I've been playing for good three years now. My poker face, it is flawless. I scare people, they don't realize it. There's like 85 dudes in one girl, like, and one black girl at that. Like they don't expect it at all, and then I take their money, and then I make them weep. So, there we go. <laughs> Target, $62. I always spend more than I think at Target. Fandango, $35. I hope that was Doctor Who. Family Dollar, $23. Check Card, Livingston Man of Brooklyn, $17. Smile Fish Mart, $11. Church Meat, $6. Realplans.com. Oh, Realplans is a budgeting website that I tried. It keeps track of the transactions you made and you get to um, put it in like little buckets. It's been pretty cool. Lincoln Station, $17. Oh, my favorite cafe. Church Avenue, $14. A little Caesars, $8. Rite Aid, $22, Golden Crust, $10, Family Dollar, $7, Starbucks, $4, Staples, $31. I went out and bought a planner because I needed to get my life together, so I thought that was a good idea. Element Beauty Lounge, $61. Element Beauty Lounge is my nail salon. This is a very frequent purchase. I probably go every other paycheck to get my nails done. I like to go to get my nails done, get my hair done, so things like that. iTunes, $14. That one happens regularly. Uber, $14. Uh, MTA, $32. That's my next weekly. Uber, $9. Funny because I did buy the MTA weekly pass, but I still take Uber. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's like just I'd rather not deal with all the people sometimes. Most of my money probably is in Uber and Seamless. My job pays for my Ubers every single morning, but if I'm any bit of tired, I'm calling an Uber, which is probably my downfall. The deli, $15. Why did I spend $15 at a deli? I don't, I don't remember. I work about 12 hour days, so when I come home, I'm like done, and um, I'm ready to just go out to eat. Rite Aid, $12, another withdrawal, $41. Cheapo Air, $15. That was insurance for the flight to Ohio. Family Dollar, $6. Colony is another poker spot, that's $22. Fisherman Coves, $12. Venmo, $30. I lost. That's me giving the money back. My travel clutch, $43. I bought this really cute swimsuit for the summer. I was very excited. Mac store, $7. That's makeup. I buy that every couple of months or so. Old Navy, $37. Old Navy, $10. I am a big Old Navy's fan. Popeyes, $8. Family Dollar, $2. Another Old Navy purchase, $8. I forgot something and I had to go back for it. Amazon Market, $5. Shake Shack, $17. JetBlue, $25. Boar's Head, $13. Pharmacy, $8. CKO Kickboxing 2089. This is the beginning of my summer and I just got off of work and I was an optimist. That's what the kickboxing was for. I was gonna kickbox all summer and I was gonna love it. And I went to a class and I said, nope, not for me. It was very unusual for me. It's something I always wanted to do, like at least try it once. And I tried it once, only once. <laughs> Rooftop Cinema, $51. I treated my 
god sister to a rooftop movie because she just had a baby and I want her to get out. Amazon $4.99, a parent gifted me a gift card for $50, so I bought the foot peel with that. That's why it's only $5. That purchase is very unusual because who buys the foot peel off of Amazon? And I did, so uh, yes. <laughs> That is my monthly money breakdown. So 30 years from now, I plan to be a teacher or maybe a dean or assistant principal, but staying in education is probably my life. Success in budgeting is, um, I wanna say happiness. Even if it's not like a, like a grand life, I don't have like a lavish lifestyle. I don't wanna worry so much. And uh, maybe taking a little less Ubers. I'll probably own a car by then. <laughs>